guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you a weekly message for water signs. So I am filming on April 19th, and this is for the um, April 22nd through the 28th, but if you're watching early, it still may resonate now. So keep the bits that are for you, disregard anything that's not. Guys, no matter what Spirit says, what messages we get through the cards, it's still up to you guys and your active free will and the choices you make and the steps you take to get your fulfillment you'd like to see in the world. And thank you guys all for returning. And if you're new at the end of this, if you feel it touched your soul or it's resonated, please feel free and subscribe. Hop on the journey with me. Um, it would be wonderful to encounter your energy more often. So I'm going to take this moment to ask Archangel Michael to jump in, to guard, guide, bless, and protect this reading as well as any of you who would ask for it. Guys, just know if you want your angels and guides in your life, all you need to do is ask. They're here for us. And lastly, but not um, least, I'm asking the team of light to jump in and use me as the clearest channel for the most far-reaching of you guys. So if you are, again, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or if you just have water in your chart somewhere or the title of this you felt drawn, it could be for you. Again, um, the last thing I'm going to say is that know that even though I've put a time on this, um, they are timeless. So it may it may resonate now. It may be something that you hear, but it's, you know, timing is fluid. Just remember that, okay? So before I get going too far, I'm going to ask a message from the Mario Aduge, um Messages of Life Oracle. Just to start off for Cancer Pisces Scorpio for April 22nd through the 28th. 2019, what's the overall message you have from the universe spirit on something we can remember throughout this week? Thank you. So we have one. The bottom of the deck as well is crossing into the light, so I'm going to keep the bottom and put everything else like that back. So we have overcoming and crossing into the light, which is perfect, right? Overcoming something that has been a challenge, overcoming obstacles, moving into brighter times crossing through these obstacles into times of light. So first I'll read the overcoming. If you t can see as well here, there's a clock with all the different zodiac signs here. And this person is holding the sword up high and it's almost like shooting into the heart of this like higher self over soul kind of thing, whatever you want to, excuse me, call it. I just burped. And there's also, um, connection to the divine here in the crown and the third eye so there is I'm, I'm being asked to remind you guys you're very multi-dimensional beings as well i overcome my fears my anger my ego and all that separates me from my divinity through self-discovery and daily effort in my spiritual quest i cause the light to grow in and around me i am in the great school of life and i know that each of life's tests it's necessary so that I can reign over my own inner kingdom. So guys, if there's been a time where you feel like you've been tested, the universe has really been testing you, or things have been hard and you keep having to prove that you want certain things or go, every step towards your goals are harder and harder, but keep pushing and keep persevering, okay? Because I feel like this week it's about to overcome that stuff, okay? All of those tests, all of those obstacles, all of those challenges, they were thrown in your path for a reason. So that you knew you were powerful enough and strong enough to move forward in your life. And remember, crossing into the light here, we have each stage of my life is a new bridge to cross on my journey to inner transformation. If I face a situation with anger and resistance, I will remain in place. It is only through dealing with each situation positively that I will grow and evolve. When I work with my inner light and practice the laws of universal love every day, I discover the true meaning of my life. So overcoming our fears and our anger and our ego, letting everything that kind of gives us this idea of lack mentality or that we are disconnected from spirit or source, let that go, okay? Remember that all of our tests through life, they're important. They had something that we were supposed to learn from it. And I'm just being guided to say again to remember that if we don't learn the lesson, it'll come back again in a different way. So as we move through each one of life's lessons, remember to, to really see what it was here for and move through the energy kind of appropriately but know that if you choose this positive mentality when I am not separate from source I'm not separate from my divinity or the universe and I have control within my life okay I have um, 
and working on ourselves, practicing love, right? Practicing love for us, practicing love for others, outwork into the world and doing our, our work, knowing here that those tests, right? They're just going to skyrocket you. So here, rather than facing resistance, cross into the light. Practice, 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 guys. Gross. But your spiritual muscles, they need to be flexed. So just remember that you can move through this transformation, okay? Each day of, stage of life is new. And before I move into the, the tarot, I also want to say you may have been overcoming something from one cycle and it's time here I feel like with the clock and overcoming and crossing into the light it's time to enter into a brand new cycle now okay so just gonna ask a message from the um, keeper of the light Oracle on any um, any advice for moving into this new cycle please spirit I, f I really do feel like it's it's a moving into a new cycle. And we have here um, the Holy Spirit and expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur, will occur naturally. Spirit has your back, guys. So whatever it is that you're working on, know that Spirit has your back. The bottom of the deck was Paul the Venetian and experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So overcome your fears of whatever it is, whatever path you're on, whatever endeavor you're going towards. Overcome the fears. If there's past situations that have got you trapped in anger, remember that won't go, that won't help you. But ask for help from the divine. Know that miracles are here for you. Know that you have a cool creative self within you and you are able to, to manifest, um, I'm hearing powers, okay? But that is your own personal power to move forward in life. And this is also keeping an open mind, an open heart, right? This this cup runneth over. And the hands, there's receiving, open, willing to receive as well as to give out. But this bird is like diving down into this cup. So there is so much power when we come connected from the crown, but also heart-centered and experiencing grace we have here that it's like if you moving into this new cycle know that you can move through with grace okay love is coming to you expect miracles love is the only thing that's real remember to stay in your truth stay in love and we have Kali Ma at the end again moving through fear guys and you know oftentimes Kali it's there's a lot of destructive energy in that but know that the universe will only, things are only going to blow apart if they're meant to. And um, I'm, it's not here, but open communication with yourself and with others also helps this move forward. Because if you can explain yourself, if there is any anger still holding or any resentments is what I'm also hearing. They're still trapping you in this ego mind that aren't allowing you to kind of transcend and transform. Because anger, if it does show itself... It's usually, it's here for a reason, first off. It's here because something is not going the way that we want it to. There are people or situations in our lives around us, however, right? Um, heard manipulating, but it's not, that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, that are influencing as well, kind of what happens in your life and... Remember, if we can come at things directly, okay, if we do have to experience anger, displeasure, anything like that, know that if you do explain your truth with vulnerability, explain it open-heartedly, explain it in a way that's not pointing fingers, but being direct and acknowledging your anger when it comes up, but working with it constructively, this is a real time to experience the grace, to say what you need to say in a constructive way, in a positive way, um, you know, and expect miracles. So this is also, don't, ex don't come to everything. Again, this is a life test. Expecting to fail. Expecting it to fail. Come at it 
going expect miracles and it doesn't mean you have to have an attachment to what exactly it looks like but just know that if you're pushed towards a place or pushed towards something or you're working towards a goal and you're facing resistance but you know you're on the path right path expect those miracles and know that grace is here for you take that and I actually want to read a little bit about Paul the Venetian for you um, the concept of grace is so important because I think one of the things that a lot of us fail to do for ourselves is give ourselves grace. Sometimes you have an angry moment and you react. It's not awesome, right? We don't always want to react like that. But if it happens, give yourself some grace. If someone else in your, you know, your your circle, your tight knit community, whatever, you know, this works, your family, your friends, if someone else around you as well has kind of acted out. Um, in ways that you feel are unbecoming, is what I've heard. Give them grace, too. Give them grace, okay? That's, that's just what I'm hearing. So let's look at Paul the Venetian. Okay. Whatever creative ideas you are having at this time, they ins are inspired by the divine. Paul the Venetian is here to help you channel your gifts. You may have felt blocked or have held back, been held back in the past, but now it's time to recognize how talented you really are. Follow your bliss and share your grace. Your creativity is a gift to the world, and as you share it with those around you, you make space in your heart for goodness to enter. Recognize your gifts today and express your creative self in a way that suits you. So if you guys are um, artists, if you're you know into writing, musicians, anything creative, if you have a YouTube channel, guys, whatever it is, maybe journaling in this case, however it is that you need to express yourself into the world, Paul the Venetian is one of the ones as well that works with the arts, works with musicians, works with artists, and... Um, designers as well anyone who is trying to channel in their own talents okay so this could even be if you're a builder right you build houses well what's one of the things that you are really good at okay what is something that is there something that you had an idea on just an example because it doesn't have to be arts it's how we express ourselves creatively and you know even in the most minute things whether it's cooking your dinner at night in the daytime baking using your creative skills and knowing that you're perfectly safe to do that okay give yourself some grace expressing yourself overcoming your fears of any of this so spirit what's any advice or actually let's see here let's say rather than advice what would you have us know for the science, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for the week ahead? Okay, page of cups fell out. This is moving towards what you want with love, and the bottom of the deck here is the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is about you are looking out into the harbor. You can see your, what you've been waiting on, long-awaited things. They're here, okay? They're coming, and you can almost sniff it. You can almost smell it is what I'm hearing. It's, it's almost here. but And it's like... The Page of Cups is here. So, let's see here. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. We get... There's no reversals either with this deck. I, I flipped them all over. So, it's, But we have um, the Page, often known for wanting to be a messenger, right? Offering or being a messenger of love. Holding this cup in. Wanting to, with the Eight of Pentacles, this is about work. This is about putting work in. And I'm hearing labor of love. And we have the Seven of Swords. Um, I am hearing stolen. With this particular card, this is often about theft, something taken. This could be, again, um, ideas. This is with the Eight of Pentacles, and then you've got, you know, walking away with your swords, leaving these two. This could even be a choice on what to keep, what to leave behind. But this is up in your thoughts and your mental space. So, 
really working with yourself to give yourself some mental grace. But if you feel like there's been also deception, lies, this could be, but this could just be um, with the fog. But she's looking back at, I feel like, the work that's been put into this. Or it could even be that to offer this, right, there's had to been a lot of work done here to move through whatever the Seven of Swords energy is. But then you also have the Fool here. And I mean, to me, the Page of Cups, it's kind of a Fool as well, because you're going to offer your heart up to something or someone, or, you know, you're holding your heart. You're holding your passions. You're holding, you know, what fills you up emotionally in the palm of your hands here. And that's important. And I'm feeling like if you are jumping... Okay, making a bold leap. Try and ensure that the work has been put in to avoid confusion. That's what I'm hearing, okay? But offering your love out into the world, and much like this Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Expect that it's time for you to let go of the fear. If this is something, if this labor of love, if this passion of yours has been something you've been holding on for a while and you've really been... Um, keeping it, working on it, and I'm hearing like with this keeping it to yourself as well, maybe you just don't want to share, but I'm going to clarify that Seven of Swords, but expect miracles and experience the grace because I really do feel like now is the time, crossing into the light, rising and discovering your true meaning, being willing and open to go for whatever that is, gossip as well is what I just heard with this, but even though there's no gossip here, it's like... One, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five. Oh, she yeah. And she's only holding. One, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Peace Spirit. Thank you. So you have the Queen of Cups and Death. So this could even be like at one point not being truthful and maybe a little deceptive with yourself in terms of what neat work you've needed to do. <laughs> hey, we can all do that at times. And not only that, but in terms of um, in order, that might be some of the work you're needing to do. Okay? A transformation of the Queen of Cups. An ending, so to speak, of anything where maybe we're being dishonest with ourselves, being dishonest with others, or just feeling like I'm hearing that you got a pretty big load to bear, a pretty big cross to bear on you, and being confused and having to make those choices of which thoughts to keep, which thoughts to leave behind, as well as are they even your thoughts, all right? Something I was being brought in, asked to bring in is like these belong to an institution, right? It reminding me of like the golden arches here or the, the triangle almost like masons. Okay, let's let's use them as an example. It's almost like are they her swords? Did she go in and take them? Are are they her thoughts? Is she choosing which thoughts to keep and hold as truth on her own and which thoughts belong to these guys? And this could also be like really making that leap into what I believe, what I think, what I want to see in this world. What do I offer love into, okay? Overcoming the past and stuff that says, hey, you're small. No, you're not. Experience grace in this world and go to everything in this world with an open heart. And I'm feeling like the mindset of that fool that is ready to jump into a brand new adventure, leave the past behind, and... As a fool, this is optimistic. So, this is a lot about heart space, I'm feeling like, with the Page of Cups. And then the Queen of Cups here with Death to clarify the Seven of Swords. Um, it's like, 